Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to our captain's press conference. Uh, we've got uh, Mzwandi Lestik, assistant coach, and Sia Kulisi, our captain. Um, just the usual, raise your hand to ask a question. Once you've asked your question, just lower your hand. Uh, and then, please, guys, if I can appeal to you, just ask one question at a time. If there is time for a second question, um, if nobody else's hand is raised, we will come back to you. Uh, and then, yes, we will save the last couple of minutes for Isit Kosa. So, please, um, can we just stick to English for now? And then and then later on, we'll switch. So, uh, Nathan, I see you. you. Your hand is up. Um, can you hear me, um, Zina? Nathan? Uh, okay, let's hear go me, to sorry. Mubin. Yes, you know, can you hear me? Hi, guys. Can you hear us? Yes. Yeah, can you hear me, Zina? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, sorry, I, I think you guys missed all of that. Just the usual, lift, uh, just raise your hand and um, ask your question. Once you've uh, asked your question, just lower your hand. And please, can I ask that we, we stick to one question at a time? Uh, so please, if, if there is time afterwards, we'll we'll come back to you for your second question. Um, let's go with Nathan. Uh, yes, Sina, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, thank you very much. A good day um, to the gentleman on the high table. I've got one question in English for now for Sia, then two questions in this for coach in the allocated time later. Uh, Sia, we, we're seeing all, the old Rassi again on social media. I know he's, he's on the Zoom call. What has he been up, what has he been up to in camp, uh, teaching Kenan Moody how to tackle like Corepetti? Same thing he did with the SDAs in a while back. Um, he's been adding input to the team. He's been um, helping, obviously. Um, and making sure that we're getting ready for the game mentally and physically. Um, yeah, that's what he's been doing from, from our side. And yeah, um, and also just encouraging where you can and, and doing everything you can like he always does. Mubi? Hi, Sia. Hi, Coach Dick. Um, Sia, um, how's the preparation been this week? Um, and you you think you guys can turn the corner and get that elusive win tomorrow? And then Stick... Um, just regards to start of play again, um, can you tell us, uh, is there anything up your sleeve this weekend we see, that we're going to see different maybe? Um, maybe scoring more tries, looking to play with the ball in line a little bit more? Yeah, the, the week has been yeah prepared um, as well as we could. It's been tough and we we feel, you know, it's it's um, it's, it was a, a tough loss last week, and we, we want to be better as a team. You know, we looked at where, where we can be better. We left a lot of opportunities out there on the field, and yeah, we we're hurting. You know, we're hurting. It's and we we worked as hard as we can um, to make sure that we better what we the mistakes that we made last week, and you know that we always look at ourselves first. We point fingers at ourselves and where we can be better. And that's what we've been doing this week, and yeah, been. Uh, we know we are emotional people in South Africa, and it's been an emotional week, and we want to be better. You know, it's been a long, what, well, 12 games now? It's been 11 games, um, you know, so, yeah, looking forward to to, to the weekend, to the game tomorrow. Sorry. Yeah, I'm moving. I think regarding to a style of play, our plan is always to make sure that we win games. That's the most important thing, and you saw last week, I think, especially in the first half, we created more opportunities for us in the game, you know, and... Uh, when we were guilty, I think we didn't convert them into points. You know, if you, there was a time in the in the first half where we like we had about eighty percent territory game where we were dominating against them. But I think, I think everyone who was watching the game could see that. Listen, 
with all the opportunities that we, we had, we didn't convert into tries, you know, uh, there are a couple of opportunities there. So that's a positive thing about uh, the, the game, you know, where we've created a lot of opportunities, but where we were guilty is not to convert them into points. So we're not going to change much on how we want to play the game, you know, because of uh, the most important thing for us is to make sure that we just convert them into points. And uh, yeah, Australia are a tough team at all. Uh, so it's been a tough week for us, you know, most especially getting into reality about looking at those opportunities that we could have converted them. If you look at our set pieces, how much <coughs> opportunities they create for us. You know? uh, so, yeah, that's the most important thing for us this week is to make sure that when we get opportunities at, at test match level, we have to convert them into points. I think that's one thing that Australia did well with the few opportunities they've got in the game. They've managed to capitalize on them and put the points away. Craig Ray? Uh, afternoon, guys. Uh, Coach Dick, um, it's your fifth different right wing with Kane and Moody, and I mean, he's an exciting young player, but he, of course he hasn't played, I think, in eight weeks as well. Just how, how disruptive is that in terms of your defensive patterns and in terms of your attacking fluidity when you keep having to change personnel? I mean, the centre pairing is also slightly different this week. Um, so how, how difficult is that for you to sort of build on those kind of issues? Yeah. Greg, that uh, it, it's tough for any coach, you know, where if you can't have continuity in what you want to uh, build, you know, regarding to having the same players in the same position, you know, uh, it's it's a big challenge for us, yes. But on the, on the other side also, for me, it's a great opportunity to make sure that we test our squad depth, you know. You've seen how many players we've already used in that position. So I think for us, if all our players are 100% fit, we will be in a good space because we understand exactly what we've got in that position, more especially if you look at it, the uh, the players that we've used so far, you've got the likes of Cheslin Colby, who's injured. You've got the likes of Spoon Kosi, who's coming back from the injury also. Uh, you've got a guy like Kedley Aretze, where he was given an opportunity. He was superb, you know. So I think we are, yes, it's, it's frustrating, but at the very same time, I think we are in a good position because of at least now there's some depth in that position, you know. So I'm excited also to see uh, Moody, you know. There's one thing that I don't doubt about him, even the uh, the, the question that Nathan asked about, asked about him and Rasi. Uh, Moody was just doing his extras on his own, you know. It was just Rasi who, who volunteered to go and help him, you know, just to pick up the bag and assist him with that. Otherwise, the kid has got a much head, you know. He yeah. knows exactly what is required from him. And uh, and then I'm excited also to see what he can do. We've seen what he has done for the Bulls at the UFC. Very, very tough kid, you know, as a 19-year-old, to be able to put physical hits like that, that, like he was doing in the URC, it shows that he's got a big heart. So I'm excited to see him tomorrow. And of course, he's up against Corabetti, which is a you know, pretty tough challenge. Yeah, on. Yeah, I, I, think I understand when it comes to the positions where they're playing, he's going against Corabetti. But once again, if we if we play well as a team, you know, even the guys around him, they keep on motivating him. I'm not worried at all what's going to happen. You know, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a big challenge, but... On the other side, like I said, I'm excited to see him. Thanks. Heinz? Morning, James. Hope you're well. Um, see, I actually just on that, um, <clears throat> as sort of like a captain who has to take newbies sometimes under the wing and stuff, how have you experienced um, Kane and Moody? Um, there's, there's a lot of talk about this young man being really mature, actually, for his age. Yeah, I, I love Kane. Um, he... He wants to learn it's very quiet, doesn't talk a lot. Um, but you know, once he gets told to do something or he gets shown something, he takes into energy straight away and he's always keen to do extras, helping the other guys as well. And I'm excited for him. I'm really excited. Every single guy that's gotten the opportunity this year, you know, they've all done something special in the unions. And I remember playing against him in the quarterfinal, some of the stuff, the stuff that he was doing. Um, um, I mean, against us, you know, you wouldn't think he was in school, you know, just a couple of years ago. Um, he he's really good, and I'm I'm not even nervous for him. I, you know, the our coaching staff just said he must just do what he does. He's here for a reason, and that's hopefully we can create as a team. We can do all we can. I think the way we play, we play. You know, as much as people can say whatever they want, we created I don't know over 28 opportunities. To score tries, the only thing is that we didn't take them as a team. But yeah, the way we play, we'll get him opportunities to show what he's made of. Justin, good afternoon, there, gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Zina. Sia, for you as a leader of this team, um, how different is a week like this week, this type of this week after a defeat, compared to once? You know, obviously, when you guys have, have 
claimed victory. Um, do you feel extra pressure on yourself? Do you feel like you need to speak to the team a lot more um, in a week like this as opposed to a week once you guys have you know, sort of won that particular match? Our process doesn't change. Our process is the same, no matter the result um, of the of the game. But obviously, emotionally, and we look at stuff uh, differently where we could have done better, but like we still prepare the same. And me personally, we're all different as a team, and we all take defeat or adversity different. And I do take a lot uh, on myself. Luckily, I've got people like Coach Rossi is with us and Jock and Coach Stick that I can go and 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 talk to you know they 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 speak about the serious stuff and then after that you know they also want us to still enjoy ourselves you know so um it's been a, a different it's been a, it's been a different because we have to do something different I mean 11 games in a row we haven't won here so something's got to be done and and it's been it's been a proper week in terms of when we're working hard we're working hard but also you know we they try and take our mind off things, you know, and by spending time together and doing stuff together. So in that department, but our processes don't change as a team. Um, Nathan, your question is in, is it close, all right? Uh, can we hold that till the end? Uh, that's correct, Sina. Okay, Craig? Uh, hi, me again, Sia. Uh, can you, it's just more about, um, you guys have obviously created a lot of opportunities and you've said that and I think you mentioned they're 28 in last game and but can you understand the public's frustration that the you know we talk about opportunities we talk about process but the results have been disappointing and certainly inconsistent um you know what sort of message can you give to people because yeah you know, we can see the good stuff and no one accuses the Springboks of not trying but there's certainly an element of frustration that the results aren't coming consistently yeah. Yeah, no, when we understand, we fully understand um, the, the, uh, the, the South African people's um, frustration and and we as players accept when they're upset because when they celebrate, they celebrate with us and we are feeling the same kind of, uh, of, of frustration because when we finish the game and we sit and then the coaches, you know, we look at players, we watch the game and we're like, we should have finished there, you know, we feel the same frustration and... Um, you know, and and we, all we can do is just tell them we we will do our best to be better this weekend. And and you know we're grateful that they do share those thoughts because we do see them as players. You know, and we do take it seriously because without the people we can't do um what 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 we love. And we just yeah we hope obviously they don't give up on us because yeah we worked really hard this week and this game is important to us and we can we definitely want to take the opportunities better um this week and it does it is painful to look at some blatant opportunities that we do leave on the field. But it's, yeah, we totally understand people being frustrated and and with not being consistent, and that's our ultimate thing. We want to be as consistent as we can, and we hopefully they can see in the way we play that, you know, we you know we fought back at the end, but, you know, we just want to make sure we start with better in, in, in intent this coming week. And, yeah, um, yeah, but we are always grateful for the support of the people, and but we're going to, we have to be better this weekend. We have no choice. No matter how the win comes, we, we do need it. Or we're out of the rugby championship. Yeah, thanks. Heinz? Zondile, um, I don't think anybody's denying that um, the loss of Lucanio is a big one. But one of the interesting things about that center combination is that while you guys are always building depth, that one, um, Jesse and Damien, is actually a very established one. I mean, they were like the highlights of the 2015, you know, World Cup campaign under Heineke, you know, and he, they even played together, you know, in you guys' first year with Rossi at the helm again. Um, just just how, I almost want to say, how special is it, you know, to actually be able to, to after so many people have been um, used to Lucanio and Damien being, do you bring in Jesse and then it's suddenly almost, again, a, far established combination and stuff just how special is it to have that type of dynamic in the team and why do you think they actually work well so well together yeah i think uh, first things first is it's it's not nice to 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 lose players you know if you look at the injuries that we've got currently we lost Hande Pollard from last week and uh, and Lucanio arm at the same time so once again you know those are big players when it comes to our system they've been around they know exactly how we want to play and they've been key in in how we want to play our game. So losing Lucanio, it was a big loss. But once again, 
I think you're hundred percent spot on with the with the combination between uh, Damien and, and and Jessica. You know, they they've done it before as a, as a as a combination. You know, that's why for us as a coaching staff, it was a no brainer. You know, it was an easy call to make because Jesse was has always been part of our system, and we know he's always also waiting for his opportunity. You know, sometimes we play him at wing. And uh, I think he is also excited now to get an opportunity at 13. We know the, the partnership, they have done it before, you know, and the guys, they get along very well, even off the field. They've got a better understanding uh, if you look at the combinations in, in, in what we've got in that pair. So, yeah, it was an easy call for us to make as a, as a, as a coaching staff. And Jesse, once again, one of the most experienced guys in our system. And we've got 100% trust that he, he, he's got what it takes to do the job for us. So it was an easy call for us to make. Dylan? Thank you, Zeno. Um, good afternoon, gentlemen. Hope you are both well. Um, a question for each of you, please. Um, for Sia, um, just on the lack of intensity at the start of um, starting at these test matches, um, your coach touched on it earlier in the week, Coach Shark. I'm saying that um, the team has spoken at length about the sort of lack of intensity at the start of matches. I know you can't necessarily plan for a good start because certain things happen. But can you just shed a bit more light on that? Some of the discussions that you've had, have you actually addressed that sort of lack of intensity at the start of matches? And then just for Coach Stick, please, um, how big of an opportunity is this for Damien Willems so playing at 10? Um, we saw him playing against Wales in the position. Um, just how big of an opportunity and how different a role is that for him playing at 10 compared to playing at 15? Thank you. Yeah, we've, we've addressed it. Um, we were addressed it today again. Um, they started with better in, in, in intensity and we put it, it's a big uh, focal point for us. And and it can, I mean, we can still be behind on the scoreboard, but we can feel, and we felt it in the first, in, in, that, in that game uh, last week that, you know, we didn't miss a single tackle before they scaled the, the, the first try. It's just that they had more intensity than us. And, and that's something that we have to look at, you know, what we do when we sing the anthem, everything that we've done, we've spoken about it, the team, you know, is making sure that we're focusing on whatever we're doing, kick off, you know, while you're singing the anthem. You know, there's all sort of things and ways that we've spoken about as a team. Um, because, you know, that's all you should be thinking about your first actions, you know, before um, it, it happens while you sing the anthem, you know, and that's that, that's important for us as a team. So it's been addressed really well this week. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm positive that tomorrow, um, not saying we'll start off by leading or whatever, that's not important is how, like, we need, I need to see um, that my teammates next to me's intention with what he's doing, whether he's tackling, Running with the ball, you know, and we that, that's the most important thing on our heart we chase. Yeah, on the, on Gaza at 10, you know, uh, once again, we know he's a very, very special player. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a natural footballer. He has played in that position many times for the Stormers. He has also done the job for us off the bench. You know, uh, actually not even off the bench, but sometimes we move him from, if you remember in Pretoria against the uh, West side, where he moved from from 15 to to 10, and you, you saw the intensity in that game, you know, I, we, we felt like with him and, and Vila on the field, there was a bit of energy, you know, where we managed to come back against Wales, you know, so we know Gaza as a footballer, he's a, he's a, he's a good player and he's got a lot of energy, you know, and uh, one thing that I enjoy about him now, seeing his game, he's, he's also growing in his game, you know, if you see him also at fullback, how he manages our game, I think he's, he's, he's starting to grow. In, the, in, in our game and then also one thing that I enjoy with him now is getting confidence in the team where the guys around him they they really respond well to his voice so uh, and it was always the plan that listen for every position that we look to select you know we always have probably two uh, a more experienced guy in that position and then probably the third one will be uh, a guy who's growing into the position maybe a youngster you know so Gaza was always a plan in, the, in, in that position he was always uh, a backup for us uh, if you look at Hande, what we've got with Hande and Elton and Gaza was always a, 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 an option when it comes to fly up and also a guy like Fernstein. So I'm confident also that Gaza will come up to the party tomorrow. I'm not worried at all. I know he's a warrior, you know, so I'm excited also once again for him and uh, more especially seeing the partnership, you know, between him and uh, Jaden Hendricks, you know, both of them are still growing into the, in, into the team and uh, I'm excited to see what they're going to offer tomorrow also. Uh, guys, we'll take our last English question from Justin. Coach Toko, just 
this one for you. You spoke earlier on about the you know, disruptions in the back line and in, in, enforced ones due to injuries. Um, but surely it motivates you and it keeps you excited to see the likes of Kanan, um, Kurt Lee Aronsa, Jaden Hendrickson, Damien Willemsa, you know, the future of South African rugby and, and the fact that you get to work with them. They come with a renewed energy into the setup to really just want to show their worth. Um, so for you personally working with them, something different for you as well? Yeah, Mr. Ford, you know what? Uh, I think is uh, sometimes it depends how you look at the situations. You know, I'm one of those people that are always looking for the positives in, in any situation, you know, and you are 100 percent spot on. I feel where you come from when it comes to uh, us building the squad depth, you know, enjoying seeing the youngsters coming through, you know, I think the future of SA rugby, I don't doubt at all that it's in a healthy state at the moment because of if you look at the wings that we have selected so far and the, what the guys have produced for us, is, you know, in, the, in those positions. And seeing youngsters, like I've mentioned, the, the, the partnership of uh, Jaden Hendricks also and, and, and Gaza, those are still youngsters that are, are growing up into those positions and also into our team. I know Gaza has been with us since 2018, but he's still a youngster. You know, I've coached him also in 2017 in the junior box, so he's also still a youngster. Kenan Moody, at the age of 19, you know, I, I think he's the second youngest, youngest in that, in, uh, to make a Springbok debut. I'm very, very proud of what he has achieved. And for sure, his family also is proud of what he's, he's going to achieve tomorrow, you know, just to be a Springbok at that age. It's something that is special. I'm excited, you know, and, and I, I'm one of those people that I'm passionate to see youngsters coming through. And I think we are in a healthy state at the moment, and it's good for South African run. Nathan, you can ask now. Thank you again. More umkutlesh we Australia ori ni kana chinge ndo kutkala la kasi chaina kuni we yongi ni biyense kuni kumse la wakika. Both will tell a lane of our unit speed, including the Australian. Unit, yeah, Cartesian, Nathan. 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 Yeah, Cartesian,
and he's one of those guys that it didn't take a long time for him to 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 fit in with what we're about and what we want to do as a group and and like you said earlier you know new people bring new energy in the team and he's bringing the right kind of energy and i'm excited to see what he can do tomorrow nathan let's try your line again um yes i apologize um for my end ladies and gentlemen um pomoyo umqeqeshi we australia u reni khanga a tshintshe into ukuqala lakhe xa sitshala kuni kuyo yonke nobe yenzeke kule vek umzekela abadlali abagoduka ngenxa yokumzakalo no tshintsho weliqala leni kuvavanya le spini kunye ne australia unethemu ne zophumela ngomqhubela ay temple corner tata wena and as soon jonga kakhulu kalo kwinto bayibona baselect enjani team yabo and say i understand the situation aba kuyo if we know umdlalo udlala ne spring box yabona uh, so in the in the but once again, can focus on the city find out that process is in the last week. In the last month, we saw that when the squad was converted, we two boys were from there. Five balloons were no go. It's copied now. So if because of man, it's a matuba on that. It's what it's what like last week. Apo kusenze hizo no kona kuna kuna convey to into the points and which is that he yona ndogo ebe city make city make ebe city make sure apa vegin si ateta na and then sell zama uilungi sana sisi na training session so in the lai injuries kete ata esenzi kile ati minute unfortunately it's part of the game so asizo kwa zuko skala zana loe yongo ito yabo that's why kutepa ba mpolo i it's a team game yabo that's why squad ines solo kusbani players is needs apa sisi ne players thirty four. Yeah, bona. So back when I was playing, I was watching Sikri. Ah, put all about when you say Benzi put in a before. So and the Avuya also now. Lendo back up back on youngsters. As for when I'm at two bars, but squad is born a little now. Boni lego lo gumfano njengo kete arrange se elia. Ape nyake no besi jala ne all blacks. Was born a little now. Gumfano ba noko unai danai. Oh, Jaden Hendricks. So lendo di tanda yoke no tan born a little now. Mane be be noko be kula na be kare ni be leto. Sikuaza rules of money balance because kama kaka ba fano njengo siya. Yeah, but so. Nega no go sfuma nendo anes ne energy wapo ezi ezi za ezi ngo ni nde vuyela no go balance squad yet. Nde num ngo zaman kwe kubela o chesi si amazu ya talu tini pola ike ya kato lendo ba nzo kana kanga ni ke sa msa si bono o amapi kwa fano no no skali nje pas bono kali singe pola sali. Ipu chongi le wena tata ne inenze kai bonga ba tali e e e e balin ba ne ba ne free doma ba ne kuai ba. Have you got any opportunities to come by Poly and Yoshi Mapiguin? A com dali unga lendo unga neguanga lo lo paba i seventy seven. So if I'm about to back on and then Timbi Luchet grows up was seven zero two, a faga matter to some people in Oga opportunity. But God again, sometimes get abandoned by understanding in the Bafunegalu who call it Utale direct first level when they team it with money momentum. Lando say Poly Mapiguin early. Yeah, but only less last week. Sometimes classes are pulled early. Eh, my people in several stretches are good at it. Yeah, but only less than I found it. Less than I bought the place. So by us about that, but yeah, I'm going to see it. I'm not thinking now. By us, land about going back. By two by the corner by Paul Mayan. My people in Basel seven seven two. But God again, test match level. We want to see sometimes because of you. Utala na makwela. Ah, an an defense system is strong now. So yeah, which is great. Now, if men to be like this center and see a mass back, we can send the loose ends before the time. But by us, of course, we cover no people like Simba Pigwin, like two Balikon. Nathan, we've got time for one more question. Um, if if you want. Uh, now, oh yeah, for sure. Um, as this is for Sia. Sia, um, you always mentioned that um, you want to keep to the same processes. Yes, course. I I get. I don't care about that. I don't care about this course. It's if my job is missing. Okay. Thank you. Now you can carry on with your English. Don't worry, bro. Nathan, we're running out of time. Be quick, please. Yeah, just general um public domain. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can. So this is for the general public domain. I just want to ask here. He keeps on mentioning um, the processes, maintaining the same processes. Now I want to ask, like, 
what if those processes don't work? Do they still keep on with the same processes or do you change the processes? Um, the, proce the process is, um, obviously if it doesn't work, we'll change it. But at the moment, um, if the processes are working, it's us that are not working. We're not taking the opportunities. We're not finishing the opportunities. I mean, we look at the game Different, obviously, we look at the result. That's the most important thing, you know. Obvious, and we want to win. That's it. We can create as many opportunities as we want. If we don't take them, they kind of useless. So, our process in the way we play this week, we've worked on making sure that we do finish those opportunities. And we understand, like people, it, it, it's frustrating. It's frustrating for us not to be getting the the, the result. And people have all right to be upset and frustrated with us. They, Hundred um, percent, because that's what we do too. When we're watching our favorite sports team, we get frustrated too. So we are hoping that this we it will work. We'll take this opportunity. I mean, we, I don't know how many opportunities we created that first half alone, and and didn't take it. So um, our process is definitely working. It's all about us as players seeing it on the field, like we did after the game, you know, and, and taking them and making sure we do score them when they come. Um, but yeah. Um, but we are we are doing the best we can. You know, our game plan, systems, everything is working. It just comes to us as individuals, like it's taking the opportunities once we create them. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining our, our press conference. Um, can I just please um, ask you all just to make sure that you leave the meeting so that uh, I can get the sound out as quickly as possible? Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. I'll send the recording shortly. Cheers.